crossing the Bosphorus Strait from Asia to Europe in just four minutes. It is the realization of a project dreamt up by Ottoman sultans more than a century ago. The Marmarai Tunnel is the world's first connecting two continents and was inaugurated on the 90th anniversary of the Republic of Turkey. The engineering feat spans 13 kilometers and will carry subway commuters in Istanbul, Europe's biggest city of 15 million people. Around 2 million cross the Bosphorus Strait each day. Work began on what is one of Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan's projects, designed to change the face of Turkey, in 2004. But archaeological excavations delayed completion. Eventually, the tunnel will serve high speed and freight trains. I live in the European part, explained this man. We have relatives in the Asian part, and we go to visit them, and sometimes I go for business reasons. When asked if he would use the tunnel, he was emphatic in his reply. Yes, yes, we want to use it, he said, though I'm not sure if we'll be allowed to use it today. The idea for a rail tunnel below the Bosphorus dates back to 1860. While it's believed at one time one sultan had French engineers draw plans for a submerged tunnel and columns, which was never built and the peninsula remained intact. Now the Marmarai Tunnel, an immersed tube set in the seabed, has joined the two continents. 1.4 kilometers of its full length is fully immersed, some 60 meters below the surface. It can carry around 1.5 million passengers each day. The total cost topped 3.3 billion euros, and the government hopes it will develop into an important trading route. Marmarai is set on a silty seabed and is 20 kilometers from the active North Anatolian Fault, raising fears it could be at risk from a large earthquake. But its free floating structure has been designed to withstand a quake with a magnitude of 9. Its interlocking construction means each section can be sealed off. The Yenikapa station on the European side of Istanbul will showcase relics which were uncovered during the tunnel's construction, many dating back as far as 8,500 years, which included a Byzantine port. Thirteen shipwrecks were also uncovered. The fines nearly doubled the project's duration and prompted UNESCO to voice concerns about the threat to the peninsula, which is a World Heritage Site.